is certainly not uh, running with full movement, Abdul Okoni, the Qatar captain. This is uh, Holman. Bresciano is onside. Chance for Australia. In towards Kuehl. Miss kick. Goal by Brett Everton. 16 minutes gone. Australia take the lead. And the travelling fans can celebrate. A wonderful move ended by Brett Everton. Wonderful move. And I just wonder whether that hamstring for Coney was a slight factor in that goal. But it was wonderful play. that got the ball out to the left-hand side. Marco Bresciano. You see Coney holds off there. Normally he would probably close down Holman. Bresciano, that's a great play. Gets his head up. He knows where Harry Kuehl is. Harry Kuehl misses it. But Brett Everton has a good wide play. Should be doing. Coming in at the back post and gets an easy finish. Licence to roam further forwards, given to him by Pimberbake. Licence to kill inside the box. His 13th international goal. Australia, a goal to the good in Doha. Saka, one of those uh, naturalised players from Senegal originally. That's what Qatar feel that they have to do to try and get qualification for the World Cup. Population of only around half a million. Hasn't gone down too well in some quarters. That's a good flick on by Kuehl. Holman helps it on towards Everton. This could seal it for Australia. Brett Everton second. And perhaps Australia are now through to the final round of qualifiers. It's a double for Everton. And Australia are in heaven. It was poor defending from the Qataris, but a double for Brett Everton. And didn't he finish it well? Great vision from Brett Holman to pick out Everton. And what a change this has been. Brett Everton normally playing it right back. Always feel somewhat wasted. It's just a long ball through. Harry Kuehl wins the flick on. Look at Brett Holman. Knows where Everton is. It's a great run. He's come from the outside to the inside. Still had a lot to do. First touch was good. Sets it up. He slips it under the keeper. And Australia now 2-0 ahead. Well, the nightmare of Dubai is fast being put to bed in Doha. And I can tell you that, well, Mark Bresciano has picked up uh, a yellow card. And also, quite a few of the Qatari fans are making for the exits already. We've only played ten minutes of the second half. Well, the fans are certainly appealing here. Now, this is a blow. Mark Schwartz has got a yellow card for time-wasting. And that's his second of the uh, group stage as well. Of course, got one against China for conceding the penalty. So, uh, this will be his last involvement in the group stage too. Of course, as we said, uh, with the David Carney booking earlier, could all be academic. And here's Brett Holman trying to ensure just that. Awkward bounce, Kuehl tees it up, Kuehl finishes it off. 3-0, Kuehl does have the goal that he was denied some 10 minutes ago. And Australia now can book their places and their flights in the next phase of World Cup qualifying. Well, he scored one before that should have been given. It's a terrible mistake from the Qatari defence, Harry's over the moon. A decent finish as well as it comes to him. Brett Holman down the left-hand side, again they get Joy down the flanks. Here's the ball completely missed by Al Hamid, who I said had started off in the right wing. Well, maybe he should have stayed there. Decent first touch from Harry Kuehl. Pass Saka on the near post. There's just too much pace on that ball. He's too close for Saka to be able to stop it. And Harry gets the goal that, as you can clearly see, he certainly is craving. Penny for your thoughts, Jorge. Perhaps next time, please don't let it be Australia. Now, Kalfan Ibrahim in behind, Schwarzer makes a great save, it is Kalfan Ibrahim, and eventually lashes the ball home, and Qatar right at the death do have their consolation. Well, Calfan gets an easy finish in the end. It's a great first save from Mark Schwar Schwarzer. Majid Hassan, the substitute with the first chance. And he did talk about that goal difference for next week's game against Iraq. Good save there from Mark Schwarzer. Calfan following in, gets a simple finish. And Qatar get their consolation. Schwartz's clean sheet spoiled. There's a little bit of afters too. 
as uh, Qatar tried to get the ball back towards the halfway line quickly. Australia, of course, trying to delay them.